All right, Shalom. Brakat Yahweh, Brakat Yahweh Shai. Brakat Yahweh, Brakat Yahweh Shai. Brakat Yahweh, Brakat Yahweh Shai. Kahala Yimla Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bahashim Rachah Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations <clears throat> to the hopefully like us, brother Isaiah, with the Peace Spirit GMS camp coming at you with another lesson through the Spirit and Power. We have Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rachah Kodash. Lord, when this lesson is edifying. I'll play this clip uh, might come through twice hold on let me switch my sound up that way there's no feedback and let me make sure you can hear this I've never gotten the right answer since I've asked that question every time I ask face to face who wrote the Bible they don't have no idea they start telling me the, 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 uh, the apostles name you know they start talking about the Judas and, 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 and John and all these. No, they wrote nothing. Those who who would say that Judas wrote the Bible? You know, that's stupid. They were illiterate, man. They couldn't even read or write. They were illiterate people. The Bible was written from 100 A.D. to 900 A.D. by Phoenicians, followers of Hermes. Both the Atlantean priesthood. That's who wrote the Bible. And they didn't write a Bible. What they did was they started copying ancient texts from all over the world remnants of the Library of Alexandria copying these ancient texts onto different parchment papers and stuffing them inside of vases and jars inside of caves. Over time, between 100 AD, 100 AD to 900 AD, people, explorers and archaeologists coming across... Alright, so that's enough of his vomit. Alright, this guy, you know, <coughs> thinks himself to be wise. Okay. Let's get that. You know, this is the type of guy who rejects the knowledge of the Most High. What type of this is. Woo. Yeah, I typed that wrong. Well, let's see what comes up anyway. Yeah, that's it. Keyboard jacked up. Romans 1 and 22 says, professing, let me just go above this. Romans 1. All right, and this will be a good, I'll touch on this point. You know, there are things that can, that are observable in the world, okay, to prove to you that the Bible is true. All right, there's evidence that, there's evidence that um, there's an ark Okay, you know, there have been documentaries on the Ark. Okay, if you observe the, um, how do I want to put it? The the, uh, the composition of the Grand Canyon and you look at the layers, okay, when you understand the science behind how layers are formed when there are various sediments, when water gets introduced into these sediments, they settle in layers, but this is happens in a rapid, this is a rapid reaction. <clears throat> okay, not something that happens over millions of years. There are a lot of things that can be observed to let you know there is a God. Now, I'm not saying this guy says there's no God because obviously he believes in the gods of Egypt. Okay, which will be his demise. But the point is, is that the Bible is made to be true by prophecy and by these different things that are observable. Okay, uh, uh, backing up the stories that are found therein. All right, so let's read this. Uh, Romans 1 and 18 it says, For the wrath of the Most High is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth and unrighteousness. Now, you're able to find, okay, Sodom and Gomorrah, okay, which there are no ruins, but let's just type this in. This keyboard, man, it's lucky. I know I ain't spelling this right. Okay. Now they have, and I'm gonna say, boom. They have a, uh, you see this, a burning sulfur ball. They have videos where you can actually see. Okay, 
the ruins of Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm gonna mute it. Right, I'm not gonna. I don't want to get a copyright strike. <clears throat> but there's these different areas where you can. The, the only place in the world you can find these these um, sulfur balls at the at the purity that you find them is in the location where they believe Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed. Okay, and you know this ain't about the documentary, but I just want to kind of you know prove that a little bit. <clears throat> these things are observable. The wrath of the Most High is revealed from heaven. We see, the scriptures say that, that that destruction will be made as an example to them that afterwards should live ungodly. We can observe that and find that and say, dang, this did happen. Okay? But like I said, I don't want to go too deep into that or get sidetracked. Let's continue. Uh, let's continue in the second half. Who hold the truth and unrighteousness. Let's read that again. For the wrath of the Most High is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth and unrighteousness. Yeah, because they were wicked. It's all hell there. Because that which may be known to the Most High is manifest in them, for the Most High have showed it unto them. Okay? This can go into also how, you know, if you commit certain acts of lewdness in the body, you know, uh, uh, kind working with kind, there's a certain, uh, how do I put it? There's almost a guarantee of a certain ailment that's known to be spread amongst people who uh, 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 engage in those activities. Well, that's the most high manifesting his wrath. If you go inside of a, you know, if you go digging for buried treasure, all right, in someone's backside, you typically come up with a certain type of disease, okay, that, 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 that kills you. It ain't even the disease that kills you. It, re it weakens you so much that you die to smaller diseases. That's the wrath of the Most High because he don't want you to do that. All right? <clears throat> Verse 19, because that which may be known of the Most High is manifest in them, for the Most High have showed it unto them. Okay. I'm going to uh, continue. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Okay, now they try to come up with these different backstories about why Egypt, because he's an Egyptologist. His name's Anunnaki or some, you know, crap like that. And they got these backstories, you know, um, one of their gods uh, apparently ejaculated into an ocean and that was the creation of all Earth. You know, what type of bugged out shit is that? Your guy bust a nut into the universe and then everything was created. That's bugged out, okay? Uh, let's see, boom, verse 21, because that when they knew the Most High, they glorified him not as the Most High, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. This guy thinks he's wise, man. Okay, and changed the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like the corruptible man, and to birds, and four-footed beasts, and creeping things, okay? And, you know, as he gave all the credit, to that Egyptian god and you know a lot of these Egyptian gods have the heads of animals okay going into that so you know this guy's bugged out now he said uh, he talked about the question of who wrote the bible okay well let's get a few precepts Lord when this is edifying 2nd Peter 1 and 21 let's see 1 and 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of the Most High spake as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. So this is how the, the, the prophecies, this is how the scriptures were written. The Holy Spirit guided these men to write and say the things that they said. Okay, this is not by the will of man. Okay, and one of the ways you could prove that is through the precepts. You know, as King David said, through thy precepts, I get understanding. All right, therefore, I hate every false way. <clears throat> You could find different uh, different things being talk, talked about all throughout the Bible from the beginning to the end, okay? A different little, uh, how can I word it? Things being referred unto, okay, that, that coincide from the beginning of the Bible to the end. I'll give you one example, right? It says, uh, I know I'm spelling this wrong. 
Genesis 37. This is one. And I think the other one's Revelation. What are we thinking? 12. Con. Okay, let's start here. Isaiah 34 and 16 says, no, not, not this one. Salaki. Where's the Genesis at? Boom. Genesis 37. Now, this is a dream that Joseph had. He said, and I dreamed, and he dreamed yet another dream, and told it his brethren, and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more, and behold, the sun and moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. So this, and now let's see what his father's response was. And he told it to his father and to his brethren. And his father rebuked him and said unto him, What is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee, to the earth? And his brethren envied him, but his father observed the saying. Now, his father knew through the spirit that was in him, right? That the, the, the sun and the moon and the 11 stars, the sun and the moon represented his mother and, and him and his, uh, jo uh, his father and his mother, right? Joseph's father and mother and the 11 stars represented his 11 brethren, right? So let's go back. Let's go to Revelation 12. And one, and there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. Okay. Uh, and that sun and moon represent the knowledge and understanding, okay? And upon her head, a crown of 12 stars. So this is just one example how things that are spoken about in the beginning, okay, can give you understanding of the things that are spoken about in the end. Now, in this particular situation, the sun and moon doesn't represent his father and mother, but still, you can gain an idea of what these stars are referring to because they're referred to in, in Genesis, all right? So, you know, people who don't have the spirit won't be able to make this link and say, dang, the Lord was speaking about this way back when in the book of Genesis, the beginning. And there's a scripture about that. OK, and then here we go in Revelation where he's referring to some of the similar things. OK, somebody who is bugged out and believes something crazy won't understand that. Isaiah 46 <clears throat> and 9 says, remember, uh, and 8, remember this and show yourself men, bring it to mind again, O ye transgressors, remember the former things of old, for I am the most high and there is none else, I am the most high and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. See, this is a book of prophecy. You want to try to say that the Phoenicians and these different people, the Anunnaki, whatever, whoever the hell you want to say, wrote the Bible. Them, hey, nigga, the book of the dead ain't got no prophecies. Okay. The, 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 the backstory of your gods and, and, and y'all little ancient texts. Ain't, ain't telling you nothing about how you gonna escape these nuclear missiles about to hit America. It ain't telling you nothing about how to get out of the hands of the white man who got his boot on your nigga ass neck while you talking shit, right? But these scriptures, okay, that are, that are inspired by the Most High help you how to navigate through life, how to do the righteous things of the Most High, all right? And how to, how to escape, okay? Lord willing, if you be of the elect, okay? You got hope with this. Okay, the Most High is not the God of the, of the dead. He's the God of the living. So you keep believing that bullshit of some um some uh, rabbit head ass uh, deity, whatever you want, you know, whatever type of head they got, a uh, uh, damn dog head deity, you know, and, and so on and so forth, man. You want to worship them damn animals, okay? In in the uh in the dang on gods of your oppressors, go ahead, bro. Okay, let you be a nigga. Go ahead and die. That's what's going to happen, bro. All the, all the unbelievers shall die in their unbelief, man.
Revelation 22 and 10. And he said unto me, seal not the sayings of this prophecy, of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. See, this is a book of prophecy. Okay? There ain't no way a man could have predicted the things that are happening today from way back when. All right? And the damn sure wasn't no damn Phoenicians or whoever you want to call it, right? He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. He which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Okay? So, you know, if your works are promoting the guys of Egypt, you're going to get what they represent, which is death. Okay? That's what you're going to get. Romans 3. I'll read, I'll read Isaiah 34 and 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of Yahweh and read, No one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. Speaking of the prophecies, right? For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. So, you know, the things written in this Bible are and will happen, okay? The MOTB, the mark of the beast, okay? That is being uh, uh, pushed on the planet Earth right now. And it was prophesied of, from a book written, you know, these many years ago so explain that explain that man okay why ain't no other prophetic books coming out of that 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 place egypt okay because you full of shit <clears throat> and i'll end it on that man i'll end it on this actually i got one more where is it if i still got it yeah romans three and four no Romans 3 Ooh. and 3 for what if some did not believe shall that unbelief make the faith of the most high without effect the most high forbid yea let the most high be true but every man a liar as it is written that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged okay we're going to stand firm on the foundation of the scriptures knowing that it's true having a faith Okay, which is a gift from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah to know that it's true. Hey, and fuck these people they don't believe. Lord gonna kill their ass anyway. Okay? Nigga, you ain't smarter than the most high. Alright? So may you may you and your proud look be burned up. Alright? Brakata Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles. Alright? Shalom to the next time. Shalom.